Hello YouTube and welcome to another episode of The Cloudy Vape. Where's my mod? In this video I'm going to be talking about three. Yeah, three. Not two, not one. Three. E-juice. E-juice. Sis. Plural. E-juices. So we got vanilla custard from my boy Philip. Hashtag Philip. Hashtag the spot. Hashtag uh, whatever uh, your YouTube channel is. You can see he commented on some stuff. Uh, or just go in the description and I'll, I'll link his YouTube channel. Check him out. He talks about a bunch of different stuff. Vaping, juices, life, tattoos. He has a lot of tattoos. He also has a beard. <laughs> An awesome beard. I wish I had that beard, but I don't. I have beard envy. <clears throat> All right. Getting into the e-juice reviews. What we got is we got uh, vanilla custard. This is by request. We got 20 PG, 80 PG, one extra nicotine shot. I don't usually vape on this because, um, I don't know. I just don't like it as much as I thought I did. But I'm going to do it for Philip. So let's check it out. Got my Agio W6. Got a 3.2 ohm build. Sorry, 0 0.32 ohm build. I got a 24 gauge Canthal up on this. Organic cotton up on this. Got my, uh, my cap on it. This is a Sentinel M16. Let's fire it up and talk about it. Yeah, so it's there's there's no really explaining this. It's exactly what it says. Vanilla custard. Um, good vanilla inhale, exhale is custard, or vice versa. Uh, it really depends on how hot you heat it up. I've tried this in a pro tank. Um, so a higher ohm, uh, like 1.8, um, with a lot of volts on it, and yeah, the inhale, you're always going to get that vanilla custard. Exhale, always get the vanilla custard. Uh, I've noticed the hotter I get it, like in a dripper, um, the, the vanilla is more uh, dominant on the inhale, and the custard is more dominant on the exhale. Um, kind of a weird flavor, because I'm not a huge custard fan, um, but again, it's a great flavor. I would definitely uh, uh, say get an extra flavor shot on it. Let it steep. Things like custard, flavors like that, or even banana. Um, let it steep because the first thing you're going to taste is that weird flavor. Uh, I know on the bananas, you taste almost like a Starburst banana, which is a fake banana. I absolutely hate that. I want to just, I want to throw this. I want to throw it out the window and start screaming when I when I taste stuff like that. But it's my own fault for not being patient. I need, just need to be patient. I order it, let it steep, and then try it out. Um, definitely this, let it steep. This is much better after I let it uh, I let it seep. Um, I, I waited probably about four weeks before I had just tried this again. I got it right out of the mail and tried it, and the custard was just insane, and it kind of gave me a stomachache. Again, not all day, but something I can uh, go to. So that's for you, Phil. Like it, enjoy it, try it. Heck, shoot me a message on Facebook, and I'll send you this. I'll give it to you. Freebie. Look at that. I'm already giving out free stuff on my channel. Ha <laughs> ha! Alright. Let's go to the vanilla cupcake. This is my wife's favorite. F favorite. Favorite. F favorite. Favorite. This is my fave. This is so fave right now. So fave. Vanilla cupcake. 20 PG. 80 PG. 12 nicotine. That's pretty much how I always get it. I don't know why I have to keep telling you. Um... But I guess, like, stuff like this, this is 50-50, so I have to tell you. Um, again, this is no flavor shot. This is Vanilla Cupcake Mount Baker. All my flavors are from Mount Baker. Um, I'll specify if they're not, but pretty much every flavor I get is from Mount Baker because it's cheap, it's great, and you can't really go wrong when you go with Mount Baker. So that's why. Go to Mount Baker, get their stuff, use coupon code Vapor from Baker. And no, I'm not endorsed by them. I do not sell their products. That would be awesome, though. Mount Baker, huh? Huh? You wanna you wanna send me some stuff? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, ah, scratch your back, you scratch mine. I'll I'll vape your mod. You vape mine. That sounds weird. Vanilla cupcake. Boom. Got this Atomo mod. This is a clone. I'm sorry, I don't recommend it to anybody. I got it because it was super cheap, and I thought this might be cool. Uh, it is a um, magnet firing button. Um, I found out that the, the magnet just did not work very well. It was heating up like crazy, burnt my hand. Um, 
Although I'm a pansy, so anything can burn my hand. I can go out in the sun and start screaming that I'm burning. So um, I got this IGO W3 on this Atomo clone. Uh, 18650 battery, of course. It's huge. Um, again, dual coil build. So I'm going to go ahead and vape on this vanilla cupcake. This vanilla cupcake, you really can't go wrong. It's great to mix with... Um, any other like uh, say tobacco flavors, straight tobacco flavors, because it's a good blend. Um, the inhale is a sweet vanilla. The exhale is a sweet vanilla. Um, you get that cupcake taste um, on the exhale more than the inhale, but definitely the inhale is that nice sweet vanilla. It's not a crazy sweet like a fruit flavor, but it's just a hint of sweet, so it's not just like a bland vanilla like a lot of those. Um, I really like it. I've tried it with extra flavor shots. Uh, it'll be a little bit sweeter, but the con is if you're using a dripper, I mean, if you're using a wick, so if you're vaping at all, um, it'll burn the wick like really quickly. So just keep that in mind. If you want more flavor, try to just drop your, um, your, uh, VG, try to add more PG. That'll carry the flavor more. Um, the, you know, the end all is not just get more flavor shots. Uh, if you're using a higher VG ratio, drop it down to a PG ratio. Um, maybe a 60-40 a or even a 50-50. I know I go really heavy on the VG because I like more, more vapor. But the more flavor you add, it's just going to burn the cotton. It's always going to burn the wick. It's going to gunk up. You're going to have to change your cotton or you're going to have to change your coils. Especially in one of those pro tanks, it'll just kill it. Completely kill it and you have to change those wicks. So... If you're thinking about, oh, hey, I use, you know, high VG and I use a buttload of flavor shots. Why are my wicks always burning? Well, that's the reason. I was wondering the same thing and I'm just as dumb as you are. So um, just drop your PG. I'm sorry, drop your VG. More PG will carry that flavor. So uh, maybe do like two flavor shots, three flavor shots. Don't go for five. That will burn your wick so quickly. And even, the fl even though the flavor might be better, you're not going to get as much vapor you're definitely not as going to get as much flavor as if you would just drop the VG. So I'll end that rant. Anyways, drop the VG. Alrighty, saving the best for last. I got the cinnamon roll. It's 80 VG, 20 PG, 12 nicotine, one extra flavor shot. This is probably the best juice I have ever tasted, and I love it. I will always vape on this. The only problem is the flavor, after you vape on it for a while, pretty much like any flavor, you lose the flavor. So um, switch it up. Use something else. I like to mix this with the hazelnut um, on the drip, on the actual uh, cotton, because um, it's a good blend. You can go back and forth. Vape on the hazelnut until that cinnamon roll is gone. Then vape on the cinnamon roll until the hazelnut's gone. Back and, bo back and forth. Um, but again, I just bought a huge bottle of this, as you saw in my other video, a buttload. Um, so I'm going to vape on this. I'm going to talk about it. All right, so first off, kudos to Baker. Whoever made this from Baker, or if, if this was like a ripoff from someone, <laughs> great job ripping it off, because this is perfect. This is, oh my gosh, this is great. Perfect, exactly like a cinnamon roll. Super good uh, cinnamon inhale. Uh, exhale is nice and sweet with a little bit of cinnamon. Again, you get a little bit of sweet when you inhale too. Um, you just can't go wrong with this flavor. It is so good, unless you just detest cinnamon rolls, which... I mean, come on, we're humans. We love we love cinnamon rolls, right? <laughs> right. Anyways, this is a great flavor. I will I will always buy this. Um, I like again. I like to mix it with hazelnut, uh, little nutty flavor, and uh, you just can't go wrong with it. Pick it up, try it out. Again, I know I I, uh, <laughs> I hustle Mountain Baker all the time. It's I don't get paid by them. I wish I did, but I don't. So again. I just like their like their juices. I like the price more than anything. I know there's some local shops. They're trying to sell 15 mils for almost 20 bucks. And that's just ridiculous. Vaping should be cheaper than, you know, the alternatives. This shouldn't be, uh, you know, some crazy thing that we have to spend hundreds of dollars uh, just to vape. Um, it's a, you know, it's a do-it-yourself type thing. And it shouldn't be this expensive. So uh, for all you... Uh, you all you uh you know retail stores 
figure out how to drop your juice down because that is going to be your, your selling point. The mods and stuff, you might sell a lot, but I would say your juice is, is that, you know, that consistent consumer base that's going to keep coming back. Figure it out because you have to figure this out. It is so dumb that we can go online and buy juice for five bucks for a 15 mil and then come into a store. You guys have great customer service. You guys know what you're talking about. You guys have always helped me out. Every retail store I've gone into, you've always helped me out. But you got to remember, that is just ridiculous. If, if I'm going to spend 15, you know, 15, 20 bucks for a 15 mil, I might as well just smoke again because that's really the, the biggest thing from switching from cigarettes for most people is the cost. Cigarettes are ridiculously expensive ridiculously expensive um vaping should not be the same price it should be cheaper it always has been and it should always be um i know some people want to get mon money hungry because it's such a huge craze right now but just chill out honestly chill out give yourself a you know 30 percent profit margin don't mark it up like 10 times um so anyways that's my uh that's my political rant <laughs> don't be a dick if you're gonna sell e-juice Drop the price down to a reasonable price and you get more people buying it more often. For a fact, Mount Baker has people who buy it all the time and it's because they have great juice at a great price. Um, I very rarely buy from retail stores. It's only when I'm waiting for uh, waiting for mail from Mount Baker and I usually buy really small bottles from retail stores. So again, um, no, no diss to anybody at, at retail stores, but your guys' prices suck. Okay, thanks. Cool. Thanks for watching this video. I really hope it uh, it was informal and you, you got to know more about the flavors that I was talking about or maybe these mods that I was talking about or the atomizers. Um, in the next few videos, I'm going to be vaping on the Aspire Nautilus um, using a, a Vamo mod. And I'll be vaping on the Guar flavors um, from Mount Baker. Uh, the Gizmo Goblin, the... Uh, the German chocolate beef cake and the Guari four. So uh, if you guys if you guys like this video, please subscribe. That would be awesome. I'll keep making videos. The more subscribers I get, the more videos I'll start making. Um, and I just want to help you guys out, let you know about um, you know all the juices and all the different things when it comes to vaping. Because I love vaping, and I know you guys do because you're watching this video. So if you got to the end of this video, please just shoot a comment. And, and say something stupid like uh, vape all day, hashtag vape, whatever you, wh whatever you want to do. Just comment on this video and uh, let me know what was good and what was bad about it. Um, and if you have any juices that you want to know about from Mount Baker, I probably have it because I have tons of it. Um, yeah, I mean, anything you can think of, I probably have. And I can probably get samples of when I order from Mount Baker. I can just ask for those samples specifically and then do a review for you. So please, again, subscribe comment about it if uh if i said anything that didn't make sense ask me about it if i was wrong about anything tell me i was wrong um and so i'll see you around oh yeah duh and as always stay classy and keep vaping <laughs>